What's happening, fight fans? We have a big UFC 238 card coming up this Sunday, and we at Combat Wombat are fucking excited. So, uh, 21 ranked fighters. It's got to be one of the biggest cards of the year so far. What do you reckon? We are, I am so looking forward to this. Uh, I can't believe we have so many good fights on this card. Um, it's been a bit, bit of a break from UFC for the past couple of weeks, but I mean, this card definitely delivers and makes up for a quiet period of the UFC. So. It's got to make up for it all. And with that, we are going to jump in to having a look at the pay-per-view pay card for 238. So the first fight of the night is our one of our favourite Australian sons, Tai Tuivasa, <laughs> Bam Bam, taking on Blagoy Ivanov. Simon, what are your thoughts on this one? Look, I mean, we're very biased here. We <laughs> hope that Tai Tuivasa gets the bloody win. Uh, and he's got a good opportunity against Ivanov here. Um, you know, Tuivasa, the younger fighter, the more energetic fighter, uh, I believe. And hopefully he gets the job done in round one. What do you think? I reckon it's, you know, like you said, we're super, super biased. Um, but, you know, what can I say? Ivanov hasn't really impressed me yet. Not to say that he's not a good fi fighter. He's yeah. got a lot of power and he's been fighting some of the top dogs. Yeah. But Bam Bam, I just see he's younger, he's hungrier, he's quicker. Yeah. He's got that fucking shooey power. Yeah. Bring it on. Can't wait. I can't wait to see what he walks out to as his uh, walkout song. <laughs> definitely, definitely, definitely. And let, let's hope. Let's hope it's a banger. <laughs> uh, it's got to be a banger. It's got to be a banger. All right. Second fight of the pay-per-view. PB Yarn taking on Jimmy Rivera. Now, this is another insane matchup. Jimmy Rivera like hasn't been performing as well. Yeah as he has done recently yeah. Yeah. and PDN is kind of been absolutely looking uh, phenomenal but has he fought someone as good as Jimmy Rivera? I don't know, what are your thoughts? Look, probably not. I mean, as much as Jimmy's had some you know, rough performances of late, he does have the experience, huge experience and I mean, it's a, it's a big step up for Peter and I, I just don't see it happening. I think Jimmy might be able to grind a decision yeah? yeah. Alright, I'm going against you with that because <laughs> I think my man PDN cuts all kinds of angles and puts yeah. all kind of pressure and I feel mm -hmm. like he is going to come out with that West Side W yeah. against Jimmy Rivera. Yeah. Put my money on it. Sure, sure. <laughs> <laughs> and what else do we have? It's the people's main event. Oh, just a, just a quiet fight between uh, Cerrone and Ferguson here and this is probably the one that I, I mean, probably want to the other fights don't compare. Exactly. This fight. Uh, I actually don't know who's going to win on this one. Uh, it could go either way. I think my heart says Daddy Cerrone, uh, but my head just feels like it's probably going to be Ferguson. Regardless of what happens, I think I'll be happy either way. I think it's going to be a fight of the night, performance of the night, performance by either one of them. Uh, what do you think? Yeah, well, same as you, this, this is the fight on the card. This yeah. is the one I'm looking forward to. <laughs> I wish it was a five round fight, but we have to yeah. settle for three. But, you know, what did we like just talk about in our last video? Yeah. We were saying, make this matchup. Yeah. And what did they do? They the MMA it. gods blessed us <laughs> and made this matchup. And no one's, no one's uh, pulled out just yet. So it looks like it's still happening. It looks, Everyone looks healthy. Everyone looks fit. So let's hope it still goes ahead. But, it, looks, uh, it looks like it's happening. It, it's amazing it's going to be amazing i think Cerrone looked exceptional in his last most recent fight and it's a short turnaround so we'll see how we go but i mean Cerrone has just been looking phenomenal um since going back to lightweight and i guess since becoming a dad as well so dad Cerrone is dad looking Cerrone. unbeatable so the question will be whether or not ferguson mentally is fit for this fight mm -hmm. i think we know what he can bring to the table physically his skills how he's able to improvise under pressure, rolls back, flips, dance moves, <laughs> you name it, he does it. I think this will be a mental battle. Yeah. Um, and I think if mentally he's okay, Ferguson will win. If not, I think that is Serena gets the win. So mind mind is saying Ferguson though? Yeah. yeah. Mind saying Ferguson, but I would love Serena. Yeah. Wins, title shot, that would be phenomenal. 
100% think the same thing. Rocking the cowboy hat. I want cowboy to win, but Ferguson is a hell of a fighter. And, you know, Eddie Bravo is saying that Ferguson is looking like a beast. He's looking like himself. So, yeah. anyway, can't wait. Can't wait for that one. Yeah, we can talk about this fight. All day. All, day. All freaking day. Yeah. Co-main event. We got the women's, what is it? Flyweight? <laughs> Flyweight. Yep. Flyweight? Yep. Flyweight title up for grabs. So only the second flyweight fight, I think. Is that right? No. no, no, no third. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm telling lies. Title, title, title fight. Title yeah, fight. Yeah. yeah, I'm telling lies. I'm telling lies. But Valentina Shevchenko going up against Jessica I. What do you reckon about this one? I mean, is there much more to say? I think Bullet, the Bullet will win comfortably. Uh, it might not be a finish. It might be a, a grind. But I think Bullet will be so comfortable. We'll just outpoint her. Uh, we'll just dominate her for all five rounds. I know she's an underdog. There's no pressure on Evil Eye, but I just can't see how she outperforms Bullet. Mm, it's tough. I think Jessica puts a lot of pressure on herself, and she's amazing. And mm. I think for Shevchenko, this will be her biggest test at 125 yep. to date. Yep. But I think about it. Like I think about this fight, and. Jessica I said, okay, she was she was undersized for 135 pounds, and that was what was holding her back. Yeah. So she couldn't get the where she wanted to at 135 pounds. Yeah. Valentina Shevchenko says the same thing, but Valentina Shevchenko was the number one contender at 135 pounds. And it was a close fight against Nunes. Split I decision. Mean, could have gone either way. Yeah. Um, some would argue that you know she could have been the bantamweight champion. So she beat Holly Holm. Yep. Former champion. Yep. She beat um, uh, is it Pena? Yep. With the armbar. Yes. So when I just look at that purely on statistics, yep. um, I see Shevchenko winning it. Oh, easy. Yeah. Easy. 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 And main event time. Henry the Messenger Cejudo yep. taking on Magic Marlon Moraes. So, what do you reckon about this one? Look. Uh... I hear that Cejudo is an Olympic champion. Um, you, you heard that? I've only just heard How that. How many just, times have you heard that? I've only just heard of it. Just Not now. from this guy. No, no, <laughs> no, just from sources. Yeah. But um, look, I find Cejudo very annoying, as skilled as he is. Uh, and look, he's beaten Mighty Mouse, who we, we think is pound for pound best, best fighter. One of the best ever, for sure. He is a great, for sure. Managed to get a win uh, there. Beats, you know, Dillashaw. That's a big win, you know, despite the fact that he was, you know, on pads as well. So, I mean, I mean, it, it's it's going to be a tough fight for both of them, I think. I think Marlon Murray, you know, he's got such quick hands. I like the fact that he looks like Krillin as well. <laughs> you know. Dragon so, Ball Z. I think what it will come down to is whether or not Mariah can stop the takedowns and can handle the pressure that Sahudo brings to the table with his wrestling. So um, I do hope, I think for me, it will be a case of whether Mariah can, you know, take, stop the takedowns and potentially can, you know, squeeze in a punch or two when Sahudo tries to go for the takedown. Um, that will probably be key. Um, but I do hope Mariah gets. <laughs> You're hoping. Yeah. And, you know, I know Sohudo has a huge mouth, but I am hoping Sohudo wins. And, you know, I think he might be a little bit too much for Marais. I think he's, he's wrestling, I think he scrambles, they're yeah. quick. Yeah. They're too quick. Yeah. He might not finish him, but you see what he did to Mighty Mouse. He got Mighty Mouse down, he held him down, yeah. you know, didn't do a lot of damage, but I feel like he probably will be enough to get him over the line, over yeah. a five round decision. Yeah. I think if, it, if it's gonna be a finish, it's probably more likely that Marais gets the finish. Yeah. Um, but, you know, you've seen how far Henry has come over the last two years. Yeah. It's phenomenal. Yeah. He's shit talking, no, it's probably gone back a couple of steps. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but him as a fighter is has been absolutely ridiculous. So, you know, you know, from his first title challenge to now, I think he's gone leaps and bounds, mm. right? You know, in his first loss against Mighty Mouse, you know, you could say he was only one-dimensional there. Yeah. But I think since then he's been able to 
I guess, broaden his skill set and bring a lot to the table. And I think it, you know, it goes to show how important wrestling is to the MMA skill set. You know, as long as you can control the fight, you can do whatever you want. And you can see that with Cejudo, you can see that with DC and a lot of the wrestlers that are now champions um, at their respective divisions. So, so it's going to be a tough one, but fingers crossed Mariah gets the win. Just for our sake and for our sanity. So, <laughs> for your sanity, not my sanity. I, I, I don't want another bullshit champ champ. <laughs> he's, he's not deserving of it. Yeah, well, super excited. So let's recap that. So we both got tied to Ivasa to get the win. Yep. You're going for Jimmy Rivera. Yep. I'm picking Peter Yar for that one. Yep. We both, hearts want Cowboy to win, but yep. mine saying Ferguson's probably yep. going to get the W. Likely, yep. Bang were over fight regardless, so can't wait to see that. Yep. Shevchenko, both of going for that one Cups to come one. out. Yep. Okay, and then split on this one split again. On this one, yep. You got the man Marais over here and I've got Cejudo. So, I don't know, looking forward to the card. What else can we say? We've got some good celebrations coming up. And we have to celebrate in style for our boy Bam Bam and Cowboy with the uh, old... By the way, shout out to Red Can Real 8 team coming up, doing the run in October. So, what can we do? Except for have a nice uh, chewy toast over here. Cheers to 238. Bottoms up. Bottoms up. Hey, Shay! <laughs> we'll see you soon. <laughs>